Folks who live in Robstown got to hear from Del Mar College officials on their plan should voters approve Robstown ISD to join the college's taxing district. Now take a look at this map. Currently, the Del Mar College District is made up of five school districts, including Cal Allen, Corpus Christi, Flower Bluff, Telosa Midway, and West Oso. Robstown ISD not included. Our Bill Churchill was at tonight's public hearing and joins us now with a look at what's at stake. Bill? Well, this all came about after residents in Robstown submitted a petition to the Board of Regents. They want to be included in the college's taxing district. That petition got more than 480 signatures, which is the 5% of registered voters needed to call for an election. At Robstown ISD, residents making their case. It has to be us con cariño for our people. Del Mar College officials presented their proposed service plan should Robstown ISD voters approve the annexation in November. So what are the benefits? For starters, Robstown students who want to continue their education at Del Mar would pay in-district tuition and fees versus out-of-district. We have a lot of people that are, you know, wanting to attend Del Mar, they want to be a part of it, but they don't have either the transportation, the means to meet the tuition, whereas this will be a little bit of a break for them. Here's a look at the cost difference. If a full-time student within the district is taking 15 semester hours, they could be saving $750 per semester. And the list goes on, including access to DMC campus centers and support services. This would be a great opportunity for the students and families and really the adult learners within the Robstown area to come to Del Mar College. We have many programs that lead people to higher paying jobs and higher long term careers. A number of folks took the opportunity to voice their support of an election, but it will come at a cost. Taxes would go up. That is what drives people out of the city of Robstown. Among those who spoke out against the idea was Robstown Mayor Gilbert Gomez, as well as City Council Member Jimmy Morales. Especially right now with all the property values, you know, the new appraisals, it's, cost, it's costing all these citizens a lot more money. Some have doubled, even tripled. Here's the breakdown. The average taxable home in Robstown is just shy of $60,000. That means residents would see a tax increase of about $167 annually or $14 per month. Keep in mind there are tax exemptions for seniors and those with disabilities. It's an issue in which voters will have the ultimate say-so come November if regents end up calling for the election. That's on the agenda for their August 9th meeting. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.